Hello guys, welcome to another video in the channel. As we all know, Real Madrid have some of the greatest players in world football. So today we're going to be creating all-time Madrid style level using some of these players. 4-3-3 formation because this is my favorite formation to use for this kind of experiment. Keeper, Casillas. Starting off this list with a true Madrid star, Casillas is not only one of the greatest Madrid and Spanish goalkeepers of all time, but he is one of the greatest goalkeepers in general of all time and is one of the greatest players of all time. He has won so many trophies and done so much for the world of football. He is one of the few players to have made 1,000 career appearances with 167 caps to Spain and 656 appearances for Real Madrid. He is the youngest ever goalkeeper to start and win the Champions League final at 19 years old and he has won an abundance of trophies including 5 for Liga titles, 2 Copa del Rey, 3 Champions League, 2 Super Cups and 1 Club World Cup. In addition to that, he's also captain Spain to 1 World Cup and two years. I think he's more than deserving of a place on this list. Right back, Salgado, another true Madrid legend. Although he wasn't the most attacking option, there was no doubt he was a solid wall. He retired at the age of 37, playing over 224 games for Madrid, winning 14 major pieces of silverware, including four Champions League. I think he's rightly deserved. Center back, Sergio Ramos. Even though he sometimes forgets which sport he's playing, and he has more red cards, than almost any player at this time period. He is a damn good defender and a Real Madrid icon. He's had over 400 appearances for Los Blancos and over 100 caps for Spain. He has won four Champions League and has been a beast. He scored in the 2014 Champions League final and has been exceptional for club and country. I will go down as one of the greatest centre backs in history. Centre back Hero, one of the most brilliant tackle centre backs of all time. He was incredible with ball and speed and had great dribbling skills, able to glide past attackers and defenders at will. He was a great player and servant for Real Madrid and has won an incredible amount of silverware, including five La Liga titles, a couple of Rey, four Super Cups, three Champions Leagues, two Intercontinental Cups and a Super and a Super Cup. I mean, of course he did. Left back, Marcelo. Now I had a confliction, I know I choose Robert Carlos. And some other guys that like I probably don't remember, but I really have to choose myself. He has been an incredible server for Madrid, has won so much for them. He's done incredible for the Madrid stars, making over 361 appearances for them. He has 58 caps for Brazil and has won five La Ligas, three Copa del Reyes, four Super Copas, four Champions Leagues, three Super Cups, and four Club World Cup. Yeah, he deserves it. Defense of the fielder, Luka Modric. Now, I know he isn't a regular defensive midfielder by trade, but I honestly had nobody to pick. And if for midfield for Real Madrid, you can't do much better than Luka Modric. He was an absolute beast in midfield, making over 238 appearances for the club. He's won so much and done incredible amounts for them, winning almost everything there is to win in football. He's won two La Liga titles, a Copa del Rey, Three Copa de Spaniards, four Champions League, three Super Cups, and three Club World Cups. I mean, obviously, he deserves to be here. In addition to all of this, not only did he guide his country, Croatia, to the 2018 World Cup, he also won the Ballon d'Or to add insult to injury. I mean, yeah, he definitely deserves to be here. Midfielder Zizou, one of the greatest midfielders and players in general of all time. The Dam was one of the best players of the Galactical era and was incredible for Real Madrid. He made over 155 appearances for them, winning everything there is to win. He won the World Cup with France in 1998 and was simply incredible. He also won the Ballon d'Or and so many other trophies. And after that, he still came back as a manager to win them three Champions Leagues. I mean, of course he's here. Central midfield, Alfred Stefano. Now, this man was a genius. AKA the Blonde Arrow, he was an absolutely incredible player, winning two Ballon d'Ors, one European Championship, five Champions Leagues, and eight La Liga titles. He has 31 caps for Spain and 23 goals. He was also made the honorary president of Real Madrid. That just shows you how important he is. He will forever go down as one of the greatest players to ever grace the ball. Time for the front three. Now, this is actually the hardest part for me to set up because there were so many great players I could pick. So many different styles and I could arrange the same. But I really think the people in this front three deserve it. And although some of them might be controversial, I really hope that most of you agree with me. Right wing, 
Raul. Now, Real Madrid are known for spending cash on big name players that they don't really need and filling their squad up to the brim with Galacticos. But one of the greatest players to ever play for Real Madrid came out of the academy, Raul. Raul was one of the greatest Real Madrid players to ever kick a ball. He had 550 appearances for Los Blancos, winning everything, winning seven La Liga titles. Four Copa de España, three Champions League, one Super Cup, one Intercontinental Cup. He also won the UEFA Under-21 Championship for Spain and won the Golden Foot Award individually. He's won so much. He's part of FIFA 100 and of course he's here. Left wing Christian Ronaldo. Now, do I really have to elaborate? Arguably the greatest footballer to ever kick a ball and obviously Real Madrid's greatest ever player. He made only 292 appearances for Los Blancos, but he scored 311 goals. He won so much for Real Madrid, including four Champions Leagues, two La Liga titles, two Copa del Rey, two Copa de España, two Super Cups, and three Club World Cups. I mean, come on. In addition to that, he won five Ballon d'Ors. I mean, five. Except for Messi, that is what the highest in the world. He also won the Euros with Portugal and the Nations League with Portugal. I mean, of course he's here. Michael Buscas, the greatest and greatest player of, of all time. A Real Madrid icon has an award named after he completes our starting level as a striker. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. As always, talk to you tomorrow. It's an honor.